Hi everyone, so today we are going to be look at, looking at some of the animation options um, that you can add to your text or images um, through Adobe Express. Um, it's really, really easy, but it's really it's a really good way to make um, any images that you're creating really visual, really engaging, um, and help it stand out from more static images. Um, so this is particularly good if you're wanting to create something, for example, for social media. Um, it can also be good as um, adding to emails because you can add gifts to, gifts to emails just like you would with an image. Um, so if you're trying to, to create something really engaging and really capturing, um, then this is a good way to do that. So as you can see, I've already created my design here. Um, it's just got a bit of text and also this illustration here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is click on my text and highlight it. And then if I scroll down this panel that pops up at the bottom, you have a section here called animation. So I'll click on that. Now you have three options here. So in means that the animation is starting at the beginning of the sequence. Looping means that it's just going um, round in a circle, basically. It's just continuation. That animation is just going to be happening over and over again. Um, and then out is the animation being added to the end of the sequence. Um, so I usually doing it, do it as in, just so, uh, especially if it was an email header, just so it's not too distracting. Um, and then you'll see here now all of the options come up. So I haven't clicked on any yet. You can just hover over them. And every time you hover, you can see that animation being added. So you can see what that will look like to your text. So as you can see, there is there are loads here that you can choose from. Okay, so the first one that I'm going to do uh, is this drift here. So I'm going to click on that and now that's been applied to this text. And then you have some additional options that come up. So I can change the duration of that so that that, um, that animation, that transition is a lot longer. So it might be a little bit slower. Um, you can change it whether it's energetic, soft, smooth. So there's loads of different options that will, that will help um, achieve a different look. And then the direction as well of that animation. So as you can see at the moment, that drifts in from the left, but I could change that so that that drifts in from the bottom. Um, but in this, in this instance, I'm gonna keep it coming in from the left. So now that's been added and I can just go back to that arrow and I'll be back to that um, text bar that comes out on the side. If I wanted to remove the animation, I would just click back on animation and here you can press this button that says remove all animation and that will just be added to the text that you've highlighted here. For example, if you've already added animation to an image, that will not remove that animation. It will just remove the one that you've applied to this element here. So let's click on the X so that we are back to our full canvas. Um, as you can see, now that we've added animation, we have this sequence down here. So you can press the play button so that you can see what that would look like from the start. So for example, if this was added, um, the animation was added at, for the end of the sequence, then that would, for example, that text would come in around here rather than at the beginning. Um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and add it to this illustration here. And that's the exact same as the text. So you scroll down to the bottom when this panel pops out, click on animation. You can do in, looping, out. In this instance, I'm gonna choose looping just so you can see what that looks like. And then again, I've got all these options. So I'm just gonna hover over them so that I can see. So in this instance, I'm gonna choose pulse and I'm actually gonna choose the speed to be a lot lower so that it's slower and not quite as distracting. So I'm gonna choose it as soft. And I'm gonna bring the intensity down as well. There you go. So that is really subtle. And you can see on that looping setting, it's just continuous. Um, so I'll press that play button so you can see that again. That is just the animations being added throughout it rather than just at the beginning or just at the end. 
and again if I wanted to remove that animation that's applied just to this illustration then you would just click on that removal animation and it would remove it from just the element that you've highlighted so say that we're happy now we'll watch it again yep I'm happy to export that and have that as my email banner um, so I'm going to click on download and if you use if you've used Adobe Express before you'll see that usually you only have um, a PNG JPEG and PDF format but because we've added um, animation we can now download as an mp4 so I'm going to go ahead and download that as an mp4 and then that will start to download for me I'd probably recommend as well that you do convert the MP4 to a GIF. Um, some social media platforms won't accept GIFs, so you'll have to upload as an MP4. But a GIF means that the video will start playing straight away and it'll almost be on loop. Um, so the user won't have to press on any play buttons to be able to view this. Again, it just makes it a lot more engaging on the feed um, and hopefully catches the eye of the user much quicker. Um, so now that I've downloaded that um, as my MP4, I'm going to go back here and press on the Adobe Express logo in the top left hand corner and that will bring me back to my home page. When you're on your home page, you'll see down here that we have got um, a suggestion from Adobe Express and this is a feature that you can convert videos to a GIF. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and find my video in my downloads folder and I'm just going to drag that in and then I can choose the quality so I'm going to choose a high quality um, it might make a slightly larger file so if this is going to email for example you might need to make it a little bit smaller depending on what your email providers um, recommended sizing for, for any images or, or other file formats um, but in this case I'll go for a high quality I'll keep it in that original size and then I'll press download and that should go into my download folders so now I've got an mp4 version and I have a gif version as well there you go that's now in my downloads so I hope um, you've enjoyed this video um, I hope that you have now the skills to be able to add animation to your text and to your images and to convert that mp4 into a gif as well um, if you need any support we are always here to help and thank you so much for watching today